good morning so I got something in the mail today yeah this is pre coffee but I get to try to install an antenna today in a tree yeah let me show you what I got Okay, this is what I got. It is the G5 RV antenna for HF. It came in the mail. I'm so excited. And you get to watch me attempt to put this antenna up in a tree so I can get signal on my HF radio. Um, yeah and I'm gonna try to get it up high enough to get a signal um, I may have to um, I'm gonna just hook it up for now and see if I can get signal um, I may have to have some assistance with a bow and arrow or the air cannon to get it up higher in the tree um, permanently but I'm gonna get it hooked up to see what kind of signal I can get this should be fun Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so I'm, go I'm moving to another video that I have to do because I'm going to try to shoot a line up over the tree to hang an antenna. I've got my HF antenna that I need to hang. And then also, if I can get it in the right spot, I want to move my two meter antenna. So, Erica, if you'll pan up and show how tall the trees are. <laughs> so, the first thing that I have to do is air up the air cannon. Come closer, Erica, and I'm going to show you. That's good. This is an air cannon. <clears throat> this is, um, I borrowed this. <laughs> Erica's look on her face is like, what is that? I borrowed this from the um, ham radio club, and it's called an air cannon. It's homemade, and this is the air tank. <clears throat> and you have to air it up right here um, with the compressor. And this is the birdie. This goes up over the tree. You put it down. in the tank, I mean in the pipe, and you air it up, and it shoots the birdie up over the top of the tree and falls down on the other side of the tree. And then I can pull it back, you know, tie my, my cord um, to the end of the birdie and pull it back over the top of the tree to hang my antenna. If I can get it in the right spot, I'm going to move my two meter antenna because I need to be a little higher with the two meter antenna. There's a particular repeater that is 60 miles away that I need to reach to get into. I can hear it, but I can't key up the repeater. So, what I'm going to do is air this up it's going to be loud for a minute while I run the air compressor to air it up, um, but it only take just a few minutes. Down in the pipe. A birdie. 
Yep, the birdie. Just the birdie. Now I'm gonna go back as far as it takes to get over the tree. So, come on camera girl. All right, so I know which tree I want it over. Maybe I can get lucky and get it over the tree I want. I got 50 minutes and done it. Yeah. Just stick to my watch off. My watch off. It's a lot wearing Mom, I don't like well. I hate well. I'm sorry. You'll be alright. I'm gonna go. Only gonna be for a second. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh. Wait, well, that was awesome. Let's do it again. Yep, we're gonna have to because. Yes, we were cut. Let's go see where it goes. Wait a minute. We're going to try this again. <laughs> Don't want a step. Go! I'm going to do that. Where'd he go? Hot dog. Okay, so I got it over the top all the way over the top of the tree that time and there's the birdie right there and well okay so what i need to do is untie the paracord that i have the antenna <laughs> tie to lower the antenna tie the paracord to the birdie and pull it up over the tree then i can raise the antenna up as high as it'll go so, I gotta undo this knot. I'm gonna make sure I don't find any spiders because. Don't let, don't video the camera, I mean the camper, Erica, remember. I'm not. Okay. I'm videoing up there. You bringing down the, the antenna thing. Oh, lovely. I could just knotted it up. Okay, so I got that the two meter antenna down and there's a um, there's a safety mechanism on this antenna right here and it goes from the bottom of the antenna up to the top of the antenna and it attaches and that is to keep strain off of the antenna itself. So I've got to take this apart and make sure this thing doesn't fall. And I'm going to retie it back in just a second. All right, back up just a little bit. All right, so got fire ants everywhere. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. <sighs> yeah, they're gonna try to eat me alive. I know that. Sweating. 
birdie. The birdie birdie. I'm gonna tie it around the birdie. And then I'm gonna tape it because I don't want it to get hung up in the tree. So Erica, if you will hand me that roll of tape right there. Thanks, darling. Mm-hmm. The humidity is about to kill your mama. Okay. All right, so we're fixing to get ready to pull it back up through the tree. Okay, it was hung on you. Oh. So. There he is. Yep. Daddy, you stole my sweat. Oh, oh, All my sweat. I had to tie some more string on the end of my paracord because I was about to lose it. It was about to get up out of my reach. Which would have been really good. But Sep, then that, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have had it. So I got this support string tied back to the bottom right here. And I got it attached to the end of the two meter antenna right here. So now what I'm gonna to try to do is see how far I can get it up in the air. <sighs> it might be super hard. Yep, it's probably gonna be super hard. It was a bee. Unhook that off of there. Don't kill mama. Mama. Don't get killed. Um, you want to move back some? Yeah, I'm uh, trying. <laughs> This is Kilo Golf 5, Lima, Oscar, Juliet. I copy you. Down. This is KG5, L-O-J. I'm going to turn in for the night. I appreciate y'all coming back to me. Maybe I'll catch you on here again. you watching our video <laughs> yes 
Yes, we do. We've got some more you may want to see. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and until next time, we'll see you later.